The defense moves to dismiss the complaint as facially insufficient. The only connection between my client and the murder is a DNA result based on contaminated evidence. People have any objection? No, Your Honor. ADA Cabot just instructed me to ask for leave to represent when we develop new evidence. Fine. Case is dismissed without prejudice. You can't dismiss. He's guilty, Your Honor. You must be Dale Stuckey. I am good at my job, okay? And I'm- Mr. Stuckey, you're out of order and seriously deluded. If this is your idea of doing a good job, you're in the wrong line of work. No, you don't know me. I'm... I don't care to. Sit down and shut up. Mr. Harrison, you're free to go. Judge, you're a lone beacon of hope in the struggle against global mind control. Save it. You're a murderer walking on a technicality. And if it were up to me, you'd be in the nut house where you belong. You're the nut for letting him go. Is everyone crazy today? Five minute recess. People, take your meds. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. Everything with you is I, I, me, me, you're selfish. I'm gonna do everything I can to get you run out of CSU and sent to the motor pool, but the only thing you can do is screw up an oil change. Look, I know I'm not supposed to say I, okay? I didn't mean for this to happen. Dale, everyone screws up, so we figure out a way to fix it, okay? How? He's walking away. Harrison has a shadow. Two of them, in fact. Well, tailing this nut job is not the answer. We can't keep tabs on him 24-7, even if he thinks we can. We could pick him up on a mental hygiene warrant. If we find a judge sympathetic enough to issue one? I know a few. We can civilly commit him. It's too late for that. Munch and Finn find him? No, they found another victim. Annie Mae Lawson, age 29. Clothes slashed and knifed to death. Peter Harrison's exact M.O. How the hell'd you lose him? Well, in case you didn't notice, there's a couple thousand people around here. Now another one's dead, thanks to this psycho. Coney Island isn't exactly a crime-free zone. Maybe there's somebody else. What, there's someone else labeling people guilty and cutting them up? Come on. Well, this ought to do it. Nice, big, bloody thumbprint. Harrison's your man. Our guy got out of jail, off his second victim, went online and bragged to his friends about it. How I finally stopped NYPD harassment. He tells how he neutralized the operative in Central Park, defeated our NYPD mind control. And the rest of the wing dings are egging him on. Hang tough, man, fight the power. But how could Harrison post all this when he's on the run? Well, he's on his phone at Coney Island. We thought he was texting. Here's his last message that he posted before he lost you and killed Annie Mae Lawson. Keep the faith going off grid. Yeah, but then he pulled the SIM card from his cell phone so he isn't trackable. Hold on. Unless another board member knows where he is. Look, somebody named Gwendolyn of the Shadows wrote, good luck, PH. If you need anything, you know where to contact me. So do I. You know Gwendolyn? From another side, JFK assassination stuff. She has some great pictures of the grassy knoll that I've shared with her. So hop on and chat her up. See if she'll give us where Harrison went. I'd rather talk to Gwen in person. I know where she logs on to the internet. I hear they got to Peter Harrison. You know Peter? I met him last year in the village at a talk he was giving on Homeland Security's plans for our water supply. Yeah. He knows too much. That's why they're after him. There's an empty store at 88th and Broadway. Peter rents the basement, turned it into a safe room with everything he needs. Thank you. Hey, John. I was going to tell you, I'm thinking about going back on my medication. So maybe we could be together again, huh? Goodbye, Gwen. I got to go. John, please don't leave me, John. I got to go. But everything's going so good. Sly dog making moves on Looney Lady. She's my ex-wife. Freeze! The judge told you to leave me alone! That was before you killed that girl at Coney Island. I didn't kill anyone there! You got your fingerprints, dumbass! No! I didn't do it! And I didn't kill you! You did it to yourself. <laughs> so you were lucky to be alive. Another couple seconds breathing that gas. What was it? Hydrogen sulfide. Mix toilet bowl cleaner, a couple other household chemicals. And bam! It's detergent suicide. I mean, Harrison did his research. Make ricin from castor beans. Ten IEDs you can build in your basement. Please tell us you found him in the corner stone coal. I wish I could. But I did find his escape route. There's a ladder that leads up to a sewer grate on the street. Once again, our killer's in the wind. Yeah, but I know someone who can tell us where he'll land. Gee, this is better than the confession Liv and Elliot didn't get. Uh, so... 
Red paint, blood. That's obviously a knife. You're obviously in the wrong building. Stucky's solving our crime for us. As usual. Yeah. Pretty clear, right? I mean, faces of the guys he's gonna kill next. Looks like he's just getting started. Why don't you put it down before you contaminate more evidence? Right, um, but looks like Liv. I'm a little younger. You are an obnoxious little jack. Elliot, it's not. Let him go. Let him go. Get out of here. They're here. They are always here. I don't think he has a weapon. CIA mind control. They use ruby lasers to alter our thoughts. No. Peter, no. No, no, stop. Are you okay? He showed up out of control. Threw this at me. So what's got him off? Well, tomorrow it'll say that the city's safe again. I don't know what the ethics board will say about me calling you. That you did the right thing. <sighs> you sure you still want to represent him? I know how ill Peter is. I can use that to help him. Two liter bottles, one with ammonia, the other with sulfur, hardwired to the ignition. If you turn the key, the bottom's popped off. They're turning our car into a gas chamber. Fred, the door locks and the power windows. She only had about five seconds. Check this out. Guilty. Culex pipians, also known as your garden variety mosquito. Found it in the back seat of Julia Zimmer's car, gassed to death. Harrison's tiny accomplice? More like our star witness. Its stomach was full of blood. Since Julia had just gotten into the car, there's no way it had time to feed on her. So it's Harrison's bloody bit him when he was rigging the device. I've already got the computer working to confirm his DNA. Bastard isn't gonna walk because of any tea left uncrossed in this lab. Not again. So, but our perp scribbled more than we thought. I didn't see it till I like, pulled the rig from the car. One down, three to go. He's gunning for revenge against everyone who betrayed him. One down is Zimmer. The next two would be Gwen and Redzinski. By his count, there's still one more. I can't believe that son of a bitch had the nerve to come after me. You pull him out of that jail cell. You don't bother bringing him to court. I want to kick his ass myself. You didn't hear any of that. I was going to ask if you're OK, but I can see that you're better than ever. Detectives, bomb squad says it's clear. Okay. Did you brief him on Harrison's dirty tricks, all the research we found in his bunker? Oh, yeah, we even flushed the HVAC system, made sure he didn't screw with the air. Dale, put everything back the way you found it. I got to get back to the lab, finish up on that bug. Bug? Like, like a listening device? No. Mosquito we found in Zimmer's car that's gonna nail Harrison. Wanna take you to a hotel? Another thing you didn't hear. Protective custody, come on. I don't run. Come on, it's not really running if you order room service. How about the Waldorf? My house is safe, I'm not leaving. Ow! Oh! Oh, something stuck me. It's a syringe. She got the full dose. She sedated, but she'll be okay. What was in the syringe? Potassium chloride, the same drug used in lethal injection. Harrison's got a sixth sense of humor. Well, Albert, what you got for me? Okay. 